Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to talk about uh, why articles on the SCP Wiki have been trending towards shorter lately. Uh, now, this isn't an absolute trend. There are certainly articles on the Wiki uh, that are mid-sized to longer, but if you were following new articles on the SCP Wiki, you may have noticed an influx of 500 to a thousand or even lower than that 200 to a thousand word articles and the real question now becomes what happened there was a trend for a while actually just a straight up the, the way the wiki had become was that longer was better generally i think it was because most of the authors are taking themselves very seriously, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but we're taking themselves very seriously and creating what they would hope to be great works of art. And in order to do that, you need a lot of word space to do it. Um, and so there was a bit of a problem, I should say, and it was a problem where they were just there was just too many words going up on the wiki to read reliably. Uh, for a couple of years almost. Uh, and there still are, by the way, I should say that. But at the same time, you could read a chunk of the SCP Wiki and actually complete more than, you know, two or three articles in a week, uh, regardless of how much free time you have. But about two months ago, the SCP Wiki put up a shortest new pages uh, section in the left hand toolbar and from that moment on <laughs> people were chasing the bottom for word count um, not with quality again uh, this isn't an insult I just mean chasing the bottom on word count trying to get as few words on the page as possible and a couple of people have done some cheating uh, for lack of a better way to put it to try and get themselves at the top of the list essentially the shortest word count uh, page just lists articles by characters total number of characters on the page so a page with uh you know two <laughs> a, a page with just a list pages module that references to another page technically counts as less than a page that has a you know an actual article in it even if that actual article is sh technically shorter people were doing that um in fact the entirety of Somebody posted up the entirety of The Great Gatsby, uh, but they did it with a list pages module. So it was listed as the shortest page on the SCP Wiki, despite it being a, was that a 40,000, 50,000 word novel? Um, and it's also in the public domain now, so they could post it. <laughs> um, and this is interesting. It's an interesting trend, actually, to watch happen, especially considering uh, how long like the trend was uh, for the 6K articles. Like one of them was essentially novel length. I think probably maybe more than one of them was a novel length, but one of them was definitively a novel length uh, article. And that's just, I've said it before and I'll say it again. And I don't want anyone to take this like uh, too roughly, but the average quality of works on the SCP Wiki are not so high that I'm willing to commit a novel's worth of attention to your articles like your article might be good enough and it might be but i'm not i'm not i'm just not and not only beyond that but when people post you know when people have a fifty thousand word draft they also have to get feedback on it you know I, i'm sorry you know people get paid to do actual novel editing right and <laughs> that's all i want to say uh, I used to actually, I, speaking of, I used to actually get some money for doing critique. I might actually want to go back to doing that one day. Um, but, you know, people get paid to do that kind of editing. And for the idea, and the generally on the idea that, you know, your end result work is actually going to be publishable. But in this particular case, you're literally giving it away for free. So you're asking people to commit a lot of time and effort, not just... just just for reading it and then trying to give you feedback like really good detailed feedback structurally or even line editing that some people uh are, are generally are best at it's like it's just you can't you just can't but if you give me a two to thousand two hundred to a thousand word uh article and i can i can do that all day 
absolutely no problem in fact i used to have a i think it was a five thousand word limit on my uh uh patreon back when i offered critique for it but in the end like the scp wiki under needs to understand this this is how you incentivize people to do a particular thing give them more upvotes for it or more accurately give them more attention for it because the more attention you can put on a particular type of content the more people will do that type of content period you want to see more of shorter works on the wiki create a, a thing on the left hand side where people can look at the uh, pages by sh uh, link then they will do that and that's what will ha and that's what will happen but uh yeah it's an interesting new trend and uh, actually is the reason why I have felt comfortable going back and writing stuff for, something for the wiki because the trend had always been longer, longer, longer. And some of the shorter stuff I was doing just didn't fit what the wiki was looking for anymore. Uh, and so the wiki has somehow come back around to my style of writing. <laughs> so I'm kind of happy with that. And, and I've written longer stuff. Not only have I written longer stuff, but I've written longer SCPs, longer tales, um, definitely short story length stuff, but I've never written novel length stuff for the SCP wiki. I can't imagine committing that much time and effort into an article or into a, a tale uh, for the SCP wiki, but that doesn't mean that other people shouldn't. It just means that if everyone does it, <laughs> the, everything falls apart. I'm so much happier with this like mixture because there are still longer articles going on. Anyway. Thought I'd go a little into a little bit of discussion as to what was going on and why, and just kind of talk about um, like, like my preferences for length. And again, I, I've said this before, and my preference for length is somewhere between, I'd say, five, anywhere above 500. I think anything lower than 500, you're starting to get a little rough. Writing short articles is not easy. It's easier than long articles, but long articles are hard. And short articles are both, they're both hard. It's just slightly easier to do it in a short form. And people have made many, many mistakes with their short form articles uh, that are masked by, you know, uh, they're a little funny or they're just short enough to get an idea across. And people are like, uh, yeah, all right, I don't want to downvote it. But like writing a short article is only marginally easier <laughs> than writing a long article. Getting a good, I should say, Writing a good short article is only marginally easier than writing a good long article because there's and there are other it's a different skill set. Honest to God, it's a different skill set. Your pacing is different. Your methodology of storytelling is different. How many characters you can use is honestly different. You, you in a short story length piece, you can have two or three characters with actual story focus. But in a piece that's, say, 500 words, you can have one character at most, and you're not going to be able to build a very strong emotional connection between the audience and that character. It's just not going to happen. And at 200 words, like, I don't even know that you can build a connection to one character with 200 words. I've seen people try it and fail. I've not yet. I don't know that I, I, I'm going to say that I know it's possible. It's absolutely possible. The old Hemingway uh, short story or not short story, flash fiction of uh, baby shoes for sale, never worn, um, does build a bit of an, uh, just a skosh of an emotional connection to the underlying story. Um, and there, you know, people can critique that story as if it's useful or good or whatever, but it's a good example of what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, yeah, I'm sure it's possible. I don't, and I, again, no one should take this too, too strongly. But the average writer on the SCP Wiki is just not good enough to pull that off. The average writer. A few of them are really good at it, I think. Uh, I don't even think that I'm necessarily good enough to make... A, and I, I think quite highly of myself. But I don't think I'm good enough to create a good, strong connection between character and reader in under 200 words. It's possible. Uh, it's just not likely. And so that leaves you with basic object scps or funny scps again a good joke doesn't need uh, jokes are all about compression i'd like to say the more you can minimize the uh the setup to the punchline because the punchline is just 
one line. It's a punch line. As long, the more you can minimize that setup, the funnier it's going to be, honestly. Um, and even a main list article that's funny works for this way. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment. More engagement is good. I'm not joking. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe already. This is very important for the health of the channel. Uh, if you want to see me keep doing videos like this, which I've seen people say they want me to talk more about writing on the SCP Wiki, and then no one watches these videos. <laughs> So I don't know what to tell you. If you if so if you do watch it and you want to see more, engage with the video and YouTube will recommend it to more people and more people will watch it. Or don't. And OK, see you later. I'll do more on 173 or whatever. I will do the content that the, uh, that the, that the audience wants to see that I also enjoy, but that the audience wants to see. And then that's just how it's going to be. Uh, but yeah. Hit the do do all the engagement thingies and then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Kashmil and Sinjariki. MC Kashmil is pledged at $50 and Sinjariki is pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here and I will see you all again on Thursday.